sorry it cut out on me. Um, I'm not the person to ask if you can delete your uh, factory image drive. That is something you yourself want to call. Um, I was gonna say XP, but then I said um. <laughs> uh, that's something you want to call up HP about. Um, you want to ask them if when you install Vista, if it reinstalls your backup disk. If it doesn't, then you will have to go to the store and buy about 20 CDs. And 14 of those CDs will be used to back up Vista. I know it's a lot. Um, does cost about 5 or $10 to get a lot of CDs. I have a nice big stack. Um, I don't know how much this was. It was probably like 20 to $30. It's a nice big stack of about 100 to 150 CDs. Um, they are CDRs and DVDRs. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, it's on 44%. We could watch it all day. I know you guys don't want to. It's really boring watching this setup. But it's formatting on the partition that I wanted it to set up on. <clears throat> But, um, this is actually, I like this video camera a lot. I'm getting a different one tonight. Because, like I said, I think this one's defective. So, I'm going to read. Sorry about that yet. Again, it cut out on me. The battery died. I think when this thing gets overheated, it likes to die out. Um, I'm not going to, like, stop this and redo it. Um, just bear with me. I'm going to do my best when I edit these to make it so it doesn't go from one word to another. I don't remember what I was saying earlier, but whatever. Um, I'm going to get a new one tonight, hopefully. I'm going to exchange this one. Because it has to be defective. I mean, I ran not even three minutes and the battery has died. I know they're not really dead, though. They can't be dead after three minutes. These are inner... You know, they're not, they're Rayovac, they last the same as Duracell, and they better last the same as Duracell, because I paid 11 bucks to get them. And this was a 30 pack of batteries, 20 pack was 10, but I decided to go the extra dollar to get like 10 more batteries. Got them at Walmart, I love Walmart, Walmart's cool, that was random. You can put batteries in the fridge and they won't die. That was another random fact. But I'm not going to bore you guys to death waiting for this stupid thing to go. Um, why don't we look at my computer? It's boring, I know. Anyways, right there. Sorry for that, but right there is my Seagate hard drive. It is 160 gigabytes and like I said, I'm planning on getting a laptop soon. When I get my laptop, it's gonna have like a huge hard drive. I'll show you the laptop I'm wanting to get when I um, am on XP and I have everything working right. There's my two sticks of RAM right there. 512 each. Um, a whole bunch of stuff on the motherboard that I can't get to because I will probably blow the computer if I touch it. Now, mind you, I've built computers before I know how these things work. So, in the comment section, don't say, Oh, you're not going to burn out the computer. Because I really don't. Sorry, yet again, I'm about to kill this thing. Anyways. Um, basically. Yeah, so. Sorry. So, don't leave in the comment section, Oh, you're not going to blow your computer. Because, like I said, I really don't care. Um, I'm. You know, I'm formatting, and I don't want to accidentally jinx something and have it blow up. There is one of my fans, very dusty, yeah. And there is another one of my cooling fans. Those are my two cooling fans. Um, there's my heat sink, that gray thing. Um, my network card right there, which I can easily salvage if I build another computer. My graphics card is on board. Right there, behind the fan. And I didn't think it was on board. I thought it was actually, um... I actually thought it was 
a card, but I guess not. You can hardly see my CD-ROM drive, but it's in there. I could put a floppy drive in there if I just popped out this right here. If I pop that out, I can easily insert a floppy drive right there. But nobody's using floppy drives anymore. Those are old days. See right there, I can pop it out if I felt like it. And I could just insert a floppy there. I'm not going to, though. I think I should get off the video camera, save the battery. Oh, there's my power supply. Very small. Um, it's like, um... It's 250 watts. Wow. I don't like this computer already. <laughs> I really think I... I personally think I got ripped off. This thing was like $500. Just came out. It's 250 watt... Um, power supply, one gigabyte of RAM on this. Come on now. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically it for now until this is like done getting further into. See, it's only on 60, 67%. So yeah, I'm gonna stop now, save the battery, and I will come back when it's um, further along. So, talk to you soon. Okay, so <clears throat> now it's copying the files. I'm starving. And I really do not know what to put. Well, not what to put. Pfft. What to say other than I could set up stand or something. Well, not really stand, but like I could uh, put the video camera on something and videotape it copying, even though that's boring, boring stuff. You know how boring it is watching something copy, right? Yeah. It's boring enough watching it here, let alone... Ow, ow. Having to actually sit here videotaping it. Oh, don't worry, that was going fast. Just poked myself with one of my hard drives from an old computer old 98 computer 7 gig hard drive old 98 computer wow it jumped from 50 something to 76 I said something I didn't say what number because I didn't know what number it is but I got my Microsoft Office, ta-da, yeah, that's going on the XP, oh, come on, you know, I'm getting sick and tired of waiting for this, this is one of the reasons why I hate downgrading, installing new updates, everything, it just takes so long to load, it's on 92%, 94, sorry for the shakes, trying to zoom in and out, every time I do it makes a noise on the video camera for no reason at all, 99, 100, yeah, please wait while it initializes, okay, it's gonna reboot in 13 seconds, I could just hit enter, yeah, ow, I guess I'll go ahead and hit enter, now you can watch my lame computer reboot, monitor going to sleep, oops, get the compact screen <clears throat> press any C uh, key to boot from CD don't need to do that because it's supposed to automatically do its updates or whatever see there's the Windows XP home edition screen and now we get into the setup thank god this is what I've been waiting for now it's gonna take 39 minutes so as soon as this is done I will come back